Good morning, y'all. Jamie here, and it is pretty early, and I just hopped out the shower, so my hair's all wet. Um, we are off to visit a good friend of ours and see what she's up to today. So come along with me, and you might just learn something today. See you in a bit. Hey everybody, this is Monica. We came to visit her today to get some worms and she's going to let us know all about it because I don't know all about it. And she is on TikTok and YouTube, Suburban Earth. And I will try to provide you those links down at the bottom and we'll let her take it from here. Hey y'all, um, so as you can see, this is a repurposed refrigerator. Uh, make sure you're always reclaiming your Freon, never just let it go. But uh, you can gut the refrigerator, turn one side into a garden bed, and then the other into a worm bin that you can close and protect from the elements. This works great, but you also have to make sure to put oxygen holes in there so that your worms can still breathe. Because even though they are soil dwellers, they love oxygen. They uh, love all sorts of things from fresh greens to cardboard to dead leaves. And I just throw all my leftover potting soil in there as long as there's no disease present. Nice. Oh yeah, look at them. And so the problem you're having is that they're producing so many you're having to keep finding more and more places to put them. Yes, they do. If they have adequate places to lay their eggs, which is generally going to be cardboard, they like corrugated cardboard because they can lay their eggs inside Ooh. of here. Is that some or is that something else? I can't tell. Let's Might be a little, little bitty ants in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's ants. Um, they're going to look like a little cocoon almost. It's going to oh, be really? like one little pouch. A cocoon. Oh, that's and then, be interesting. Um, they're usually closer to the bottom, so I try to layer my worm bins with cardboard on the bottom, then some like leaf layer so that it can produce some leaf mold in addition to providing bedding for the worms. Mm -hmm. And then you want to put some soil in because obviously they are soil dwelling, so they are going to go through the soil nice. really well. Then you want to put some fresh food. When, it, when I say fresh food, I mean like you want to take some leaves, throw them some leaves. Um, you want to take eggshells. Compostable just, material. Yes, compostable material is always perfect. Now, you you will get stuff like this, especially if you utilize the stuff on your property that just kind of blows in. Sometimes you'll have to pull it out. Or it might be stuck on a cardboard where you don't even see it. Yes, exactly. It happens. Look at that little wiggler. But they do just fine, don't they? They do just fine. Um, That's lovely dark soil. I will say though, you have to be aware of your my worms that I've had to save that literally were tangled up in little pieces of fishing string. <gasps> no it's way. It's pretty wild. If you haven't seen that video on TikTok yet, go to TikTok. I have a video of it and me um, rescuing, a worm. rescuing some worms. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you just fill it up. And then after a while, once you have it full to where you think it needs to be settled, close it off to where they still get plenty of oxygen and let it set for about a month. Okay. And then you will come back to this. This worm bin I refilled about so a month food, ago. food, shelter, air, done. Food, shelter, air, done. And I keep them moist up, but not drowning. Moist but not drowning. If you realize that your top layer about six inches down is dry, it needs a good watering. Okay. Um, this is about a month old give or take. I completely emptied this. Put leaves, mm -hmm. cardboard. It had this much soil in the bottom and then I threw like two or three decent sized pots of soil in here. Mm -hmm. And you can see this is how much they've already broken down. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? That's a month. And people say it takes longer but it doesn't have to take that long. Just give them what they need. If you see that they like something that they previously didn't like, mm -hmm. keep putting that in there and see how they do. They may end up having a boom. Yeah. Um, I say that because go, go, go. I took down some ginger mm -hmm. in the back that died during the freeze. Go, 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 All of that 
like litter that the ginger left behind, the, mm -hmm. the dead stuff, I put in there. They love it because it curls up and it creates these little, little hollow spaces. Little housing for them. Yes, exactly. They love having housing because it means they can reproduce. <laughs> That's awesome. So the better they like their environment, the more they reproduce. And then the problem is, yes. where are you going to put them all? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I'll show you all my other worm bins. Okay. Right here. We have an old Yeti cooler that didn't have the stopper on the side. I put in a piece of bamboo mm -hmm. for drainage and oxygen. I layered this on top the other day because it just needed a little bit of more stuff and to balance out, you know, the moisture inside. Yeah. Um, I started this worm bin two weeks ago. Oh, wow. Yep, they're definitely breaking that down. Oh, yes. Let's see. Let me see if I can find one that's ready to reproduce. Okay, you see how this one doesn't have any banding around it. There's no solid stripe around its body. Mm -hmm. That one is not ready to lay eggs. Same with that one. Let me find one that does, is ready. That one's a little fatter. Yeah. Oh. Let's see, I don't know. No, I don't think that's ready either. I want to find one that has a good band on it because um, the band is signifying that they are ready to mate. Here we go. Okay, you see this little like band right here? It's going to continue to get more and more of a different color mm -hmm. than um, it is right now. There you go. Oh yeah, I learned all about those worms. When you have two that have the banding, it's going to start to release this slime, which is, I guess you could say, technically the semen mm -hmm. of the worms. They will roll them all together Thank until they you. both have extracted well, like. DNA from the other worm. And Thank then they will go you. off to lay their eggs. You want it back? Turn your hand over. Well, that's interesting to know how they reproduce, isn't it? So, yeah, you just give them plenty of, like this. Oh yeah, I bet they love that. Yes, how it they curls do. Up. And then also, I have found that this ginger releases a scent that seems to keep out a lot of the um, like fruit flies that, that otherwise really? would get in your compost. That's good to know. Which isn't bad if you're keeping your compost outside, but if you have an indoor compost, it might be a little more difficult with fruit flies. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, do you see how I've got all this up here? I had this bin in direct sun and I didn't realize it was in direct sun. Oh, you got somebody trying to escape right there. It, um, you'll realize, pay attention to your worms. If you see them trying to run up and escape, your bin is getting too hot. Gotcha. Way too hot and they are just trying to cool off. So don't be alarmed if you open your bin and it's just covered with worms on the top. Just know you need to adjust what your temperature is. You don't want it to be too cold. You don't want it to be too hot. Don't leave it in temperatures that are freezing or the above 80 degrees um, in direct sun. Gotcha. So I just wanted to point that out because that is very important. Great tip. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Container. I've got my tube that lets me have all my good worm juices. Well, that is too use. cool. Look at what she, how she's repurposed. This was a Red Bull container. Red Bull container that came from a gas station. They were throwing it away, so I just picked it up. And it now has, she's got the worms. Yes. It does have a lot of stuff growing. Oh yeah, look how many there are just right here. Yep. Tons of worms that just keep reproducing. And like That's I said, great. once it gets to where it seems like there's just so many in there, I just start a new bin. Wow. Because I have that many. <laughs> Use the mess. My kids like spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you have that tube coming off of it. Yes. So collect this your juice. Is I guess you could technically call it worm pee. Yeah. But what's good about this is it houses a ton of beneficial microbes. What you can do with this is you can take those microbial um, little bit remnants in there, put mm -hmm. it with some water, and foliar spray your plants. This is going to help prevent a lot of really bad pests that can harm your plants as well as feed them. Really? So those beneficial micronutrients are like those those little, what's it called? Um, instead of the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium? Yes. It has all the, the minerals? Yes. Um, if you were to use something like Super Thrive, 
think of this as a natural super thrive right because it's got all those essential little vitamins that you otherwise may not already have on your property it comes directly from the worms all natural life's little cycle using all your natural. using your world to its fullest yes absolutely awesome yes so she says totes work well as well using those lids but also make sure they have the airflow is vitally important. I actually found this bin already pre-made. Somebody dumped it on the side of the road. They had covered every single air hole in the worm bin. And I guess that's what killed their worms. Well, you know, things gotta breathe. Yes, exactly. So this one I harvest from regularly and then I cover with more cardboard, throw in soil and plant leaves from mm -hmm. plants I trim on. So whenever you want to say use some of the soil in here, do you pick out the worms? Do you throw them in your pot? I throw them in the pots. Okay. I throw, I, I of course don't go to the most concentrated area. Like I'm not going to go here and be like, oh look, here's We're a just going to get rid of all worms. of our babies. Yeah, no, I don't do that. No, I do dig down and try to find like a decent scoop. If there's a worm or two, And it's do not you a use deal. it as your compost material along with other types of soil and use it kind of as an amendment. I'm all well. Oh, show me. I'm all oh, yellow. yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. Yes. Very also, good worms. If anyone didn't know this, this is compostable. The tape on Amazon packages is compostable. Um, the materials that the fibers are made of can be eaten by worms. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. So no having to rescue worms from that stuff. Yep, the glue is non-toxic. Everything about an Amazon box is compostable except for plastic tape. If it's the paper tape, you are good to go. Um, but yeah, like That's as you awesome. can see, a lot go of people, Amazon. Exactly. A lot of people, look, I could go plant that right oh, now. Oh yeah, you could have some more seeds for later. Mm-hmm. I'm probably gonna do that actually. Yep, do it. A lot of people don't throw in onions and things like garlic, um, but I think that's just silly. I really do. I have never seen a decline in my populations because I threw in onions or garlic. Okay. But moderation? Yes, in don't, moderation. Don't go through and chop a whole, whole bundle of onions and then throw everything in. Exactly, exactly. And like eggshells, a lot of people say, oh, you have to grind them up and dry them out, then throw them in there, make them digestible to worms. You don't have to do that. If you really want to, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's done. It. Mind you, nothing as far as eggshells is going to be biodegraded the first year you put it in a bin, ever. It doesn't matter if you put it in a pot, it doesn't matter if you put it in soil, it doesn't matter if you put it in the worm bin it will be the following year that it's finally bioavailable. Really? Because it takes that long for the shell to break down. Good to know. Yeah, so it's not going to retain as much moisture as one with a lid, but it's still going to retain enough moisture. So you, instead of a lid, you can use like a cardboard to keep it, mm -hmm. but no. it's more work because you have to keep it moist, at least in our area. Yes. Got it. Yes. Now, I don't see really any in here right now. I actually just set this up yesterday, so that makes sense. <laughs> um, it's probably gonna be another couple of weeks before I see any new baby worms in this one. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, like I said about a month. A month is really all you need. Well, that's good to know. Well, thank you so much for all your information, Monica, and it's been great to go around and look at the things you have going on here, and I yeah. hope to see more from you. And Hopefully everybody can help your channel grow and your TikTok grow and get out there and learn some things because this lady knows a lot. So thanks. Yeah, go watch her stuff. <laughs> yep. All right. Thank you for now. Thank bye bye. You. Bye bye. I can't wait to try them. And what were they called? These are uh, land race currant tomatoes. All right. They are too cute. Isn't that pretty? I got more over here that are even better. I had the okay. seeds for it, like Alaskan. So pretty. Oh my god, I love ladybugs. That yeah. is so neat looking.
Mm -hmm. And I bet that's a male. Maybe. Look at their markings on their face. They're different. Run away. Come here, buddy. Yeah, the unique one wants to run off. They're, so oh, look at all the aphids. They're trying to eat the aphids. Oh, yummy, yummy, delicioso. That's a big old ladybug. Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah, you got to clean it every year, though. That's the only problem. You got to spray it down real good. But it's not time to clean it yet. Not mm -hmm. everything's woken up yet. That's too cool. Somebody gave those to me off the Mommy. Nakura. Really? Mm-hmm. Mommy. They I got need to get on. I see you creeping over there. Are you trying to eat the ladybugs? Do they look tasty? I put a video on it and I haven't told anybody what I put in it yet. Well, I ain't gonna tell them either. But that's amazing. Isn't it so cool? I love it. I love my Talk roasters. about repurpose. You like right. my shoes? You like my shoes? They're crazy rainbows, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, oh, it's goodness. so weird. It's like opposite. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. Normal people. That ain't gonna happen. Anyway.